We here, reality hour, real people, real life situation. Welcome to the show, Kenya. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? All right, Tony. You good? Yes, sir. What's going on, Sam? It's all good. It's about to go down. Hello to Michelle. Hello to Elizabeth Logan. Hello to who else? Um, all the pages. We on like five pages right now. All the channels. We welcome you. And I'm gonna try to get to everybody and shout you out. Uh, that's on the page. It is a great day. Oh, sad news, though. Sad news. Nancy Wilson passed, y'all. Rest in peace. 81 years old. The legend passed away today. We got that news today. People today have died. As Mama Leonard says, they ain't never died before. Well, that's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to acknowledge that. All right. We got this letter we're going to read. Uh, before I get to all my letters, as I welcome everybody on uh, page number two. Get ready. So here's the deal. On New Year's Eve, Silk's New Year's Eve celebration, we're going to be at Chicago Home of Chicken and Waffles. And it is a free celebration. Bill Black will be on the turntables broadcasting live on ZAK. It starts at 7. Ash Cash will be performing. That kicks off at 8 o'clock. And then... Nine o'clock, the free broadcast. I said the free broadcast. I'm I'm exhausted. I've been up since <laughs> one o'clock. The whole party is free. All right? The whole thing is free, and it's free buffet. That's what it is. Free buffet. So come and get your free buffet, champagne toast, early arrival, strongly suggested. There is a number for your VIP booths. You want to get a booth? Uh, where is the number at? It's on my Facebook page. Oh, here it is. 87-872-76. 760-4740 872-760-4740 call there and you can reserve your booth they're moving the, the tables and all that stuff all out the way and it's going to be bananas so y'all get there then they're going to serve breakfast it's going to be crazy so meet me there early now Kenya you're going to be at the uh, four Sheraton point Sher Four Point Sheraton on West 150th uh, yeah and we're going to have um, the Sugar Shack Girls Sugar Shack Girls you got Casper Casper, DJ Casper, and uh, just added was, um, let's see, we have DJ Ellery downstairs in the main ballroom. Casper is upstairs. He'll be doing line dancing all night, and we're going to have cha -cha. champagne. Cha-cha. That's right. Cha-cha cha -cha slide. And champagne toast, balloon drop, all that good stuff as well. And how can they uh, get a, a reach you? How uh, can they reach you? You can call Reno Brown for more information um, at 216-299-5163 or go to Reno Brown promo on Facebook and get all that information. All right. Tom, where are you going to be at New Year's Eve? I'm going to be a little bit of everywhere. Okay. All <laughs> right. Hello to uh, Terrence, Pearl, uh, Katrini, PA, Coltrane. I'm sorry. And... Uh, Dana, good at, from the land, checking in. Let's read the letter, man, because I need I need Tone's help on here. I'm trying to make sure I get all the information up here for everybody, so I apologize. I'm, I'm what they call it, copy and paste it so everybody can see what we're reading. Okay. And so Kenya's going to start off reading this letter for us right quick. Okay. Dear Sam, my daughter went away to college earlier this year. 
Me and her dad, we were young. We had her when we were young, and mm-hmm. we are not together. We were so proud. Um, she's the first in our families to go to college. She worked hard getting academic scholarships, and we have been working our butts off to get the money to cover the rest. Mm-hmm. We both work two jobs. She has been doing academically well. She even found her first real boyfriend. She said she was coming home for the holidays and asked could her boyfriend come too. I agreed, but I told her he couldn't sleep in the same room or bed with her. She agreed. Mm -hmm. Well, she showed up last night with a man old enough to be her daddy. I'm livid so much so that I don't want him in my house. She was even talking crazy about possibly leaving school to get a job in the college city she is in. Come on, man. I'm afraid of putting the man (laughs) out because I don't want her to go and push to that crazy job idea she has. My ex is ready to beat him to a pulp. How do I handle this? That that dude is not staying in your house no more. Mm, 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 mm. No gro- no man is gonna stay in the house with me that's the same age. And he's not gonna spend the night inside the crib. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, look, if I get to know him, I might, I might let him sleep in the garage or the back porch. Um, <laughs> but you're not sleeping in the same room with my daughter. No. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna even let my son do it. Not at all. My son, I'm not gonna condone none of that. Right, my son, not you. Not bringing some girl to the house, and and you gonna lay up and have sex in my damn house. You dog, no. So is it the age thing or the fact that she's talking about leaving school? What what's well? No, it, it's it, look. She gonna do what she wanna do anyway. A lot of times, as parents, we try to do this well let me do this so that they don't do this let me do this so they don't do this or let me do this so they don't have to go through all the stuff i went through they gonna do what they do true you know we can only go so far i had to learn that i just be like all right i'll tell you what's up but after that i leave it alone they're gonna make their own decision tell them how would you handle this see I'm, I'm a jealous father so there's no way a dude that's my age gonna be in my house period yeah. and i came from the old school where you wasn't allowed you you wasn't allowed to have no uh, no, no opposite sex. You know, friends up in the crib. Nah, you yeah. wouldn't disrespect your mama house or your your, your parents like that. Nah. So I don't. Nah. My daughter wanted to bring him home her boyfriend. Okay, that's cool. But uh, dude, the the Sheraton Four Points is that way. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what a red roof. The in. red roof in. Yeah. Yeah. Right there yeah. by Bob Evans. Go ahead, yeah. brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we will link up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I mean. What? As okay, I was a daughter. I mean, she she gonna she, she try to make a way for this dude. Mm-hmm. No, and no, I'm no. trying not to say some other words as you can. See. It's been hard for me to hold my <laughs> mouth right. <laughs> no way. I want to hear this. Okay, excuses. I, being a daughter, I always dated older guys. Mm. So, but just because you date someone your age doesn't mean that they're gonna do your daughter right. True. It doesn't mean that they're True, gonna be but mature. I'm not about to have a dude my age banging my daughter in my house. Now, what she do when I'm not there, I don't care. But you're not about to be in my house, some some dude, some ninja, <laughs> some ninja my age. Mm-mm. They might not f- have sex. They might just be sleeping. I don't give a damn. No? I don't give a damn. Okay. He gonna have, I, I might Period. give him a sleeping bag, maybe. A sleeping bag for outside or something. Dang. Yeah. She, it's yeah. winter time. It's the holidays. I don't give a damn. You guys he, have to be if nice. he's a gentleman, then he 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 know not to even ask. Boom. That's true. A gentleman yeah. don't stay at no woman's parents' house. That's you go true. get your own damn spot. Yeah. yeah. There that ain't no true. man. I said, look, there ain't no man. This man want to lay up in your mama daddy house. Really? And I'll tell him too. I like dog. I don't like you. Leave. How dare you? And you my age. Ninja police, it's going down. Six feet down. I don't care if she walked out crying, upset. Oh, daddy! I'm like, oh, daddy, the, the, the ninja's not staying here. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja's not staying here. So you don't care, like, but it's the holidays. You don't want to be around your daughter for the holidays? Yeah, she come over. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put him come over. Can he inside. come over for dinner? He can come for Probably dinner. Probably not, probably not. Really? Not after you thought you was going to stay at my house. Now, if you went and just got your own little spot room, then come on over. Okay. And I'm still going to tell you about your ass. So you're the same age as me. I'm not about to just sit in my house. You're the same age as me. You were my daughter. 
and chop it up. No. No. No, it's disrespectful. That's not a, like Sam said. That's not no man. A man don't do stuff like that. But what if you guys were single and you happened to meet man, someone, a, a young lady who oh, was she, younger? I'm I mean, going to her parents' house. I'm eating the ham and everything. Oh, oh, so you yeah. going? I'm going. But I'm not going to try to fix my face to say I'm a stay at no, your house. No, that's disrespectful. Okay. What kind of mess is that? Yeah. So you just tell the young lady, look. um, I'll come over to for dinner, but yes. we gotta stay yeah. up the street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Damn I'm not ass. about to do that anyway. So I, you know, I'm not about to do that. I'm not about <laughs> to get nobody my daughter age and be serious. No. Well, yeah. well, maybe when I'm sixty, because then she'd be. Look she'd at people. Be Forty. That's different. Look at people, Bryson. That's different. That's grown people years stuff. Old. But we talking about a college girl. This girl about twenty years old, right? Uh, eight, nineteen. We don't do that. Going to ruin her whole life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to tell you, let him come to my crib. I'm crazy. I ran away many of people, <laughs> women and dudes. Uh-oh. Because I interrogate everybody. You're talking about they trying to, to kick it with the kids. You got to. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. You said you're an interrogator. Yeah, I would okay. sit. I would sit my strap right there on the, on the, on the Thanksgiving Christmas table mm. just for the hell of it. <laughs> y'all sound y'all sound like those dads on the movies. Oh yeah, just for the hell of it. You got to. <laughs> like uh, Bernie was on. Uh, guess who's coming to dinner? Yep. Just for the hell. What's up, Bridget? What's up, Sonia? Uh, London, how you doing, Marco? Just what's like going on? Bad boys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just because. All right, comments. I didn't got all you. All this right. thing took me out. So Pearl said, "Let her live her life. She likes seasoned men. She likes her meat tenderized." Who said that? Pearl. Pearl said that. Pearl. Pearl she said Pearl, that. Pearl, man, you was friends <laughs> until you said that. What's up, Maria? Yeah. Right. Terrence said he's got to damn go. Yeah. Today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maria said, I was raised. Uh, if y'all not married, then he can't stay. Uh, that's how I was raised, no matter who or what or how old. Mm. Mm. Terrence said, I would get me a room and she can stay with her 